Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Beautiful, clear morning. It's supposed to be clear all day. 51 degrees right now. Looking at a high of around 77 today. past couple of days we had a pretty strong onshore breeze and we've been dealing with the red tide again right now the winds died down I don't notice it I don't feel any of the symptoms of the red tide it's out in the Gulf those onshore or onshore breezes blow it you know in and that's when it affects us we'll go down and take a look at the beach yeah. Look at that sky, nice and clear this morning. Tide's still going out. Beautiful, beautiful clear blue skies. If you're looking for something fun to do tonight, if you're in Naples, head down to Harold's place at the Gulf Coast Inn. I'm gonna be celebrating Mardi Gras with great music, food, fun, from five to 10 p.m. tonight at Harold's place. You purchase a ticket to attend the event and the money goes towards the Boys and Girls Club. So they're supporting a good cause while well, letting you have a great time tonight. So check that out, Harold's Place down at the Gulf Coast Inn. Check him out on Facebook. There's a lot of shells down here on the beach. seen any dead fish at least not yet from the red tide a lot of sea foam here here's a big 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 clump of sea foam you can see it blowing in the breeze There's a piece of a sand dollar. Uh, just, I just went down to pick it up and it washed away almost. There it is. There's a little chip off a of sand dollar. Just a little corner of a sand dollar. Lots of sand dollars out here in the water, live sand dollars. Let's see if we can get lucky and find a couple shells to add to my collection here this morning as we walk along the beach. I'm kind of getting a whiff of the red tide now. It's not real strong, but it's there. There's a little cockle shell with a hole in it. That'd be great on the shell tree if you could find a little branch to stick it on. I'm going to put that in my pocket. Here's a little tiny cockle shell. What the heck? Now that is a very strange looking cockle there. Looks like a cross between a cockle and a scallop. That is a crazy looking shell right there. That is wild looking.
morning. We're just tuning in here. It's 51 degrees. Looking at a high of 77 today. Water temperature 74. Lots of little shells on the beach. Just see if we can find something interesting. There's a little scallop over there. Part of a scallop. here there's so many little shells down here they're so spread out it's kind of hard to see them all gotta walk really slow beach is still in the shade here in the shadows from the pines and trees along the shore down here to the south of us. Of shells here that's for sure it's easier to see them out in the sunlight kind of hard to spot them here in the shade there's an old, 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 oh, there's an olive shell and a really, really old conch shell there. An olive shell on the left and a really old conch on the right. Tip, tip of a worm shell. You can find a lot of these little worm tips. Some days the beach is just covered with these worm tips. There's three of them right there. You see that one has a little bit of the worm shell on it. Worm tips, wormy tips. Tide still going out. Another couple hours, I think, before low tide. A few little waves. A 
couple little sandpipers running around here in front of me. Seagull. So peaceful listening to the waves. Beautiful. Here's an old conch shell. You can look down inside it. Those are so neat. Old Florida fighting conch. Lots of oyster shells on the beach. Here's an old one here, an old oyster shell. There's Roy up there ahead of us. It's pretty rough walking here. There are a lot of stones and shells, broken shells right up here. This is the very south end of Area 4. Hey, Roy. Oh, it's a going. How about you? Oh, it's going. <laughs> Still Even ticking? Freezing. Freezing? <laughs> it's yeah. a cold one this morning. Yeah. <laughs> got under 50 this morning. Man, oh man, I wonder if it's ever going to warm up. Yeah, it'll warm up this afternoon. Yeah, when the sun it's, comes yeah. out. Quite a difference, though, between early morning. Isn't it, though? Before yeah. the sun comes up, whoo, it was cold. Yeah, and that little... The wind's starting to blow here now. Yeah, uh, it is. <laughs> so were you out here with that red tide the other the past couple days? Oh, was I ever. Woo! Man, it burned my eyes, my yeah. one eye. I thought there was something wrong with it. It was just burning and running and oh, man. That wind was just blowing it right yeah, in. Yeah, and it's coughing. Really bad. Yeah. But that was just the one day. The next day, yesterday wasn't bad at wasn't all. It wasn't too bad yesterday? It was the day before yesterday. Whoa, it was murder. I mean, it was all inland, too. I mean, you could smell it yeah. up in Naples Park. And, yeah. yeah. Ugh. That, that was a bad one. So I heard you have a concert tonight. Yeah, yeah, the first one. <laughs> the first one? First, first concert. Well, this year, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, up yeah, at the terraces. That's up in Benita there. Yeah, we got about a half a dozen of them coming up. So. Oh, wow. Oh, no, it's just really... Oh, that's good. It's just a big thrill. I really enjoy it. Now, which group was this one? This is uh, Northwest Florida Coral or Southwest something like Florida that. Southwest Florida Coral or something, something like that. Coral, yeah. 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 Interesting. Yeah. Well, that sounds like fun. Yeah, it's a good, good group. I really enjoy it. <laughs> so have you seen any dolphins in the past couple days? No, I haven't no. been any around. I think the red tide must bother them. I think I it know. does. How about Mike? Has he been back? No, there's another guy here. Then Mike, it's another fellow. He just found a cell phone out in the water. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Somebody's disappointed there. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna cost them some money. Yeah. I'm gonna walk around a little more. I'll check in with you here in a bit. Well, I'm heading back and I'm going out going to the farmer's market. Oh, you gotta market. leave? You gotta head to the farmer's market? Yeah, yeah. It looked pretty busy over there well, just now. Good. Then I'm heading to Walmart. I got a new hobby and it's really a thrill. 
It doesn't cost much money. It's a lot of fun, and, and hopefully it'll be beautiful. I'm, I'm planting little wildflowers. Uh-huh. I got a whole big variety, about a dozen different type of little wildflowers. Really? And I got those little uh, uh, fiber flower right. pots. And, uh, and then plotting soil, and I put them in trays and water the whole tray, and it soaks up in. And so how many did you plant? Oh, so well, I, I must have a few dozen of them. <laughs> and uh, some are sprouting up already. Oh, yeah, it doesn't they sprouted take long. in about two days, they yeah. started to sprout. That's fast. They grow really fast. Yeah, I don't have any flowers yet, but it's, oh, no. it's, it's a big thrill. I'm looking at them, coming up. Oh, yeah, you know, before every... you know it, you'll have flowers everywhere. Oh, I'm really looking. So that's a good time. Well, that sounds like fun. Yeah. That's your new hobby, gardening. Yeah, yeah I was <laughs> by Walmart this morning, get some more seeds and some trays. To Did you get in. some fertilizer to feed them? No, I get that potting soil is supposedly also. Oh, that miracle grow potting yeah, soil, like yeah. That. I don't know. That sounds like fun. And it's only a few bucks for everything, so inexpensive and a lot of fun. All right. So, you got anything uh, maybe profound for us here before? Since you got to take off early. Well, uh, my profound statement is keep warm. Keep warm. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty profound. Keep warm. Keep yeah. warm. You know, and you, and you can expand that and think how blessed we are to have our nice warm homes. Yeah. You know, and the home is tight and the roof doesn't, hopefully doesn't leak and the wind doesn't blow through the walls and all these things that we take for Whoop. granted, you know, that... There. <laughs> Let me get that for you really something a lot of people don't have nice homes like that exactly and we got a little gadget that makes it warm in the winter and cool in the summer and i i mean warm, you know yeah. it keeps the temperature yeah. whatever we set just exactly, exactly. on the thermostat or I, these are tremendous blessings that i think we kind of take for granted oh you got that right yeah we take a lot of things for granted and we're so blessed to have nice homes and and on a on a nice street where we we don't have uh uh, you know, a lot of uh, uh, robbers breaking in yep. and, and steal, yeah. stealing and no threatening, crime. and yeah. we just lead a wonderful good life. Yes, we do. Uh, we're <laughs> blessed that way. So, so keep keep warm. That's keep warm and be thankful that you can keep warm. Yeah, and at night we snuggle under a nice down quilt and open the window <laughs> and snuggle in. Boy, that's keeping warm. Can't yep. beat that. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking about keeping warm in Florida. People up north are laughing at us. <laughs> up there, they're they're I, in the, the I negatives. Think it's colder <laughs> down here than Wisconsin. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that one. It gets pretty... At least last few days. Yeah, <laughs> it's not that bad. Down here, fortunately, it doesn't last too long. Oh, well, it isn't bad under me. My <laughs> polar down down coat, my big fur hat. There you go. <laughs> you can go anywhere. And your shorts. Yeah. <laughs> and you're all yeah. bundled up up top. And yeah. then my legs nothing cool. down in your shorts there. And, oh, Roy. I don't know how you can do that. My legs would be freezing out here with this wind. <laughs> well, they're kind of numb, I think. You're numb now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bone doesn't get cold. It's all bone. There's no, 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 no meat. flesh around them anyway. <laughs> oh, gosh. So what you going to get over at the farmer's market? Oh, I get some more oranges. They got really good oranges there. Yeah, you need them with this cold weather. Yeah. Get that extra vi shot of vitamin C. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if there's any serotonin out here. I, that red tide, I think, uh, killed I all our know. serotonin. I'm feeling wonderful out here. I think a lot of You think serotonin. the serotonin's still yeah, out here? I feel marvelous. Well, there you go. Life is glorious. Life is always glorious. Just being out here. Yeah. How you doing in the, getting hugs? Yeah, I got some good hugs too. Elsie was here hugs. this morning, bright and early, and, and uh, another lady. What'd you so think of that sunrise? The color? Oh, wasn't that pretty? That's all. That was because of the fire. You know, there's a big fire burning out east. Oh, really? Yeah. So the smoke caused that that glow uh -huh. this morning. Yeah, a couple of mornings I could smell smoke when I came out in the morning. Yeah. Not this morning, but other ones kind of smoky. One of our one of the rangers here, his son lives out there. They had to. Get, his, their, get out of their house out there last okay. night. Yeah, yesterday. Now, where is this then? It's way, way, way out in East Naples in Picayune, they call it. It's not very populated. Huh. It's way, way out east, southeast of the park here. Southeast. Huh? Yeah, but yesterday you could really see the plume of smoke. It was really billowing up in 
you can see it from here, That's and it's terrible. it's probably 30 miles. It's burning as many fields or something or wood. The or Everglades. Oh, the one, the Everglades. Yeah. 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 So morning, they, they're morning. definitely keeping an eye on that. That's too bad. Yeah. I suppose the lightning strikes. Or no, just the dry, the wind. You know, it's just. Maybe they don't know what started this one. Actually, I think this one started out as a controlled burn and then it got out of control. Oh, burn. Because we had that wind. And, huh? Oh, I gotta put my feet in the water get it warm. Get, there you go. The warmer, the water is a lot warmer than the air out here. Yeah. All right, well, I'll let you go. It's good seeing you. Oh, well, it's wonderful seeing you. I missed you last year. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yep. It's got some stuff going on. Wonderful. Yeah, it is. But all right, Roy, you have a great day. Yeah, you too. Great. And remember, this Monday, it's going to be Barb's last day out here. That's right. Bye, George. Barb will be leaving us yeah, after this Monday. Yes, so. sir. That's for sure. I'm hoping a lot of people come out and wish her well. Yeah. Give her yeah. a good send off. Yeah. Supposed to be a little party or something. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, good luck tonight at the concert, yeah. or this afternoon. Thanks, All right, Roy, good see you day. later. Tally-ho. Yeah, Roy's going to be singing with his choir group up at the terraces in Benita. If anybody wants to go up there, I'm pretty sure it's open to the public. You can see Roy in action. I think that's, yeah, that starts at 4 o'clock. Don't forget tomorrow morning, the Third Street South Farmer's Market. And it's a great farmer's market, probably one of the best farmer's markets in town. They close Third Street off downtown there. And I don't know, there's probably 40, 50 vendors set up out there, all kinds of different things, a lot more than produce. That's from 7.30 to 11.30 on Saturday mornings, every day of the year. Beautiful cloudless morning. There's a feather. Oops, I'm getting away from me here. Whoa! Probably the feather of a seagull, probably. I found a really nice osprey feather one day on the out here on the beach. That looks like maybe a seagull. Yeah, I don't blame Roy for not hanging around out here this morning. A little bit on the cool side. It's gonna be warming up though here soon. Cool for Floridians. You Northerners would love it out here this morning. It's right up your alley, 51, 52 degrees now. Tide's still on its way out. This is Area 4 Beach that we're in. This is the northern half of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. Every morning's different out here. You never know what you're gonna see or who you're gonna meet. The 
But you definitely don't know unless you come out here. Roy just ahead of me up there in the red jacket. Oh wow, here's something neat. Big jellyfish. Poor thing washed up on the beach. Let's see if we can save them. I don't know. I can't. It's really hard to pick him up with one hand. He's upside down here. I'm gonna see if I get him close to the water, if the tide will pull him back out. That's a big jellyfish. I got shoes on here, so I'm trying to stay out of the water. But didn't work too well. <laughs> See if I can zoom in on the jellyfish over there. Where'd he go? Let's see through there. I think that's him right down there. Yeah, it looks like he's washing back up on the beach. Darn it. Ah, he's starting to swell up there from being put back in the water. Hopefully he'll wash back out. You can see right through him, isn't that neat? See inside him. That's his tentacles over there. Right over in there. I don't know what kind of jellyfish that is. Obviously, it's not poisonous. <laughs> cool. Continue down the beach here. We're actually, we're going up the beach. We're going north now. big piece of sponge over here on the left. Wow, it's a nice sized piece of sponge. Let's go check that out. That's a beautiful piece of sponge right there. Look at that. It's upside down, but let me set it on the beach. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the colors, wow. That is gorgeous. That's the base, oh, that would be the base of the sponge down here. Beautiful, that's beautiful. You too, Roy, you too. Roy chatting with the guys with their metal detectors there.
Another Friday morning in paradise. Wow. Look at that sky. Is that not gorgeous? No clouds. It's supposed to be like this for the next few days at least. Amazing. our osprey nest up in the top of the tree there on the right you can see it right in the center of the tree right up there there might be an osprey up there probably the female she's probably hunkered down in there stay out of the cool breeze that's up at the north end of area four that osprey nest that's definitely a mating pair of osprey in there last year their nest got destroyed by Hurricane Irma. It's totally obliterated, so they rebuilt over here. Hopefully we'll have some little baby ospreys one of these days. Morning. This couple here walking the beach. Earlier this week, they found in one day, they found 21 shark's teeth on the beach here. 21 shark's teeth. I can't even find one. They found 21 teeth in one day, and one of them was really big. I just can never spot those shark's teeth. Boy, it's like somebody just took a broom and swept the beach off here. All of a sudden, the shells have disappeared. Morning. It's such a beautiful park. Elnor Wiggins Pass State Park. One of many beautiful Florida State Parks. Of course, the main attraction of this park is the beach. Other parks are noted for their beautiful natural springs. Their campgrounds, canoe trails, kayak trails. Florida's just blessed with outdoor activities. Always looking for volunteers at our state parks. If you enjoy the outdoors, you should consider volunteering. A lot of retired folks in the state of Florida with a lot of time on their hands. And our parks are always looking for volunteers. They're always understaffed and under, but un, no, have no money. <laughs> They're the last ones to get 
the state funding. So their funds are always limited. So consider becoming a volunteer. Now there's the shells have reappeared here. There's like a stretch of beach without any shells on it. Now you can see the line of shells running up there in front of me. Wind's blowing right in my face now. Coming out of the north, it feels like. Hmm. Not a lot of big shells on the beach this morning. A lot of just little broken shells. I don't think they just found a shark's tooth up in front of me here. see all the erosion that we've had over the past couple of months here. This is Area 5 Beach. This is the northernmost part of the park. All the way down there is the city of Naples. Those condos you can just see sticking up there, that's the Park Shore area. That's where Venetian Village, the shops of Venetian Village are. That's looking, that's a long view down the beach there. Vanderbilt Beach with the condos of Park Shore in the background. The wind's blowing the camera around. I can still feel the effects of the red tide when I breathe in, just barely, just a little bit. It's still out there. It's nothing like it was the day before yesterday. It was terrible at the beach. Couldn't even breathe at the beach. It's not bad now. As long as that wind keeps blowing offshore, we're in good shape. We're coming from the north. It's when it blows onshore is when we really get the bad effects of the red tide. There's a neat cockle shell. 
Look at this. This one's all covered in barnacles. It's kind of cool, huh? That's even got some on the inside. The cockle shell. Beautiful shells. You can find some pretty nice size on this. Is probably a large cockle right here. You can find them bigger, a little bigger than that, though. Yeah, our friend Barbara Grove, the shell lady, this Monday. It's going to be her last day here, so. If you want to learn about seashells, you better get out here. It's your last chance to talk to Barbara. She'll be up at the north end of Area 4 Monday morning from 8 a.m. till 10.30 a.m. Right up by where Roy hangs out. Gonna miss Barb. She taught me a lot about seashells. Good morning. Any luck this morning? No, <laughs> never. No. I never find any. Never look. find them. I try to look, but I, I'm looking for everything, and yeah. I miss the shark's teeth. They're, they're you know? Yeah, all these little black rocks throw me off all the time. Those little stones. It's real helpful with the, uh, the sun. Oh yeah. The water Once the sun comes out, it's great. Oh, it's <laughs> Once in a while, you'll find them over here in the rocks. Uh huh. But it's it's better. You're better off out in the water, aren't you, to find the shark's teeth? Yeah. A little chilly today. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> At least for a Floridian. <laughs> These those people up north laugh at us. <laughs> yeah, I'm from Colorado. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is great weather for you. <laughs> you too. It is beautiful. It's really starting to warm up nice. Once that sun comes out, it doesn't take long to warm up down here. We started at 51 degrees when I first hit the beach here. It's probably getting close to 60 now. We're just slowly making our way north up the beach at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park up in North Naples, Florida. Seeing what catches my eye as I walk along. Not a whole lot this morning. There's a one of our jewel box shells. Those are fairly common on the beach, the jewel box. What else do we have down here that it's fairly common. Oh, a lot of stones down here this morning. Hmm. 
looking for a little maybe a little kitten's paw or something kitten's paw shell they're usually all over until I want to find them there's one that's a big one that kitten paw has a lot of toes on it kitten's paw kitten paw Recently, I've been having a lot of issues up here at the north end of the beach with our connection dropping out. We're just using our cellular connection here. There's no Wi-Fi at the beach. JP's shell is still hanging here. I hope so. Yep. Nice. That's the shell I hung on the tree for our friend JP Thies. Rest in peace, brother. You can see a lot of there's a lot of shells on the tree here. Some people just hang the shell as a decoration when they come here or they hang it, take a picture as a little memento of their visit to the beach, their trip to Florida. A lot of people hang a shell, say a prayer. Sometimes they make a wish. A lot of kids hang a shell and make a wish, but a lot of these shells have, be hung, have been hung in memory of a loved one that's passed away. So keep that in mind when you see them. A lot of folks will hang a nice shell on here and then people come and just pick them off. Don't do that. People hang these here for a reason. I've actually got a cockle shell with a little hole in it in my pocket. Let me see if I can find a little branch to hang it on. I like hanging the shell for our Facebook friends, for my Facebook friends here. All of you that can't make it to the beach. Let's see if I can find, see it's a nice little cockle shell, but it's got a small hole, so I gotta find a small branch. I wanna find one that's, doesn't have another shell on it. Okay, where are we going to do this? I have to come back around to the other side. Bear with me here, folks. Sorry. I don't want it hanging on too thin of a branch because it'll, the branch will break off. Where is a nice little tiny branch? Hmm. Who'd have thought it would be so hard, huh? To find a nice place to hang it. Well, if I can make the hole bigger, it'd be a lot easier. That's part of the problem. Let's see here. So a lot of branches right in here, but all twisted and there's one in the back there if I can get to it. There's a good spot right back there. Right in the back here if I can get it. Yep. Get that other branch out of the way. Yep, there's a good spot right there. There you go. That cockle shell is for all of our Facebook friends that can't make it to the beach. So that's for everybody watching. There you go. Happy Friday. It's tucked pretty far back in there, so it should be safe.
Alrighty, that shell's for you. Let's take a walk a little further north, check out Wiggins Pass, see if our signal holds up here. There's a whole conch shell over here. That'd be a nice one to hang on the tree. Yeah, there's another tree just up the beach here with some shells on it. Maybe we'll hang this conch on it. It's an old Florida fighting conch. Maybe there's a branch right over here. Let's see. right on this one right here right down in there there you go another shell for our friends our Facebook friends that's a Florida fighting conch these are some sea grape trees that Hurricane Irma knocked over. Just kind of ripped them out and piled them up here on the beach. That was back in September of last year when Irma came through. Here's a pretty little scallop shell and a little kitten's paw next to it. Nice colors on both shells. Let's see if I can there you go. A little scallop and a little kitten's paw. Beautiful colors right there. This is the north end of the park. This is where everybody comes to go fishing. Not an ideal fishing morning right now. Probably not a lot of fishermen up here at the pass. Definitely breezy once you get out from behind the cover of the trees. Nice seeing Roy this morning. He wasn't going to hang around long today. He's on his way to the farmer's market up here at the St. John Catholic Church up in North Naples. That's a nice little farmer's market too. It's not nearly as big as the one on 3rd Street, but it's a nice little farmer's market on the north end of town. St. John Catholic Church on 111th Avenue. North, which is Immokalee Road. It's on the west side of 41, Immokalee Road turns into 111. And that's the road that you take to get to Del Norway.
right to the park at dead ends. If you head west, it dead ends at the park. Couldn't be any easier to get here. Remember a big Mardi Gras party celebration in Harold's Place tonight at the Gulf Coast Inn. The cheeky bar at the hotel, Harold's Place. They have some great music and food. You need to purchase tickets to attend the event, but the money goes to a good cause. It goes to the Boys and Girls Club. Come on out. It starts at 5 o'clock. It goes 5 to 10 tonight at Harold's Place. got some little kids and you're looking for something different to do you might want to take them to the Lionel Train Museum the Naples Depot on, on Fifth Avenue a lot of people don't know about it they have a little miniature train the kids can ride and, and they have a nice little Lionel train display inside it's an interactive display the kids can push all kinds of buttons and get little things to work Guy loading ice blocks into one of the rail cars, some logs getting unloaded, the fire station, the garage door opens, and the fire truck comes pulling out. There's all kinds of little interactive things to do for the kids. And a lot of people don't know about it. The Lionel Train Museum. The Naples Lionel Train Museum. I put a little post of it on here on my Facebook page. You might want to check that out. They're only open on Friday and Saturday. Very limited hours because it's all volunteers. There's a fighting conch with some seaweed growing on it. Look at that. That shell's been around a while. It's got barnacles and seaweed. The Florida fighting conch shell. That's an old one. Looks like it's got a head of hair on it. <laughs> it's a conch shell with hair. We'll just make our way up around the corner here. Look up the river, pass into the Coquahatchee River. It's Barefoot Beach on the other side of the pass here. Piper's just landed here in front of me. Yeah, when you got some spare time and you're bored, check out all of my photos and videos. There's hundreds and hundreds of them here on Southwest Florida television. Check out all my beach walks. Everyone's a little different. Every day, every beach walk, every morning is different. You never know what we're going to find. This. Got two fishermen out here this morning. This is Wiggins Pass, and up there is the Coquahatchee River. another fighting conch shell. This one looks to be in a little better shape than the last one. No barnacles on it. Very, very common shells here. The Florida fighting conch. Remember, we always make sure nothing's in a shell, but no live animals before we take it home. If it's alive, leave it here at the beach. Florida fighting comp.
There's a big pen shell washed up on the beach. Grab that quick. Most of a pen shell, P-E-N, like a writing pen, the pen shell. I'm sure you've seen these on the beach if you've been to Southwest Florida. These kind of bury themselves in the sand. You can see it was buried in the sand right up to about where my thumb is. They just bury himself straight down. You know, there's a muscle inside of these. This one's empty. Part of the shells broke off here. They're pretty fragile. They're really thin, the pen shell. They call it a pen shell because you gotta use your imagination here. But if you hold it like this, and you look kinda at the tip, it looks like a writing pen. So that's how it got its name, the pen shell. P-E-N, a pen shell. And again, they, this one was buried in the sand to about where my thumb is there. Every once in a while, I'll find a live one of these on the beach. Really interesting looking. The muscle inside is a bright orange color. Obviously nothing's in this one. Some sand. The tide's still going out. You can see the waves, the sandbar. There's going to be a sandbar that gets exposed out there. A lot of times the pelicans will sit out there just 50, 100 pelicans will just cram themselves on that little bit of sand out there. We've seen that many times here on our beach walks. North end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. Lots of beach up here, but you're not allowed to swim up here. This is for fishing only at this end of the park. How are you? There's a little slipper shell. Wow, a bunch of little slipper shells. I didn't see any earlier. There's a couple little slippers right here. I always like to show people the slipper shells. Since you do find a lot of these on the beach, the slipper shells. See, if you turn it over, it kind of looks like a little slipper, a little shoe. The slipper shell. A couple little mossy arc shells right next to it. the arcs. Another common shell, the mossy arc. Get the light to adjust there. There we go. Let's see what else we can find.
There's lots of little treasures out here. You just never know where they're going to be. A lot of the really nice shells are just out in the water, just offshore. So you got to keep that in mind when you're out here. When it's a nice calm day and the water is really clear, there's a lot of nice shells just offshore here. Making our way south now down the beach. Give you a look back out into the Gulf and up to the north. hate when people interrupt these live feeds with text messages and phone calls most people know my schedule here sorry about that Beautiful morning though. I'm sorry, I keep getting interrupted here on this feed. It's really ticking me off now, but um, I apologize. Ooh, look at that sea foam over there. Get all washed up along the beach over here. It's pretty neat. Roy gets a kick out of watching that stuff. A gorgeous morning out here.
supposed to have weather like this for the next several days at least. No clouds. Temperature in the upper 70s, probably getting into the 80s over the weekend. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that sky. Absolute paradise here. Be sure to take some time, check out all of my photos and videos here. If you find something you like, hit the like button, hit the share button. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. I know Facebook is getting some really bad PR right now. I'm glad to see all of our friends are still here. And we're, gain we're gaining new friends every day. It's amazing. Who would have thought so many people would want to tune in to somebody walking along the beach in Southwest Florida. The little shells down here. There's a beauty. There's my first one. These are like paper. That is an angel wing. That is my first angel wing right there, folks. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful angel wing. But I gotta be really careful with this. These are super fragile, these angel wings. Absolutely a beautiful find, an incredible find. Whoops, the angel wing. Wow, love it. I made my morning. And then right over here next to it, another wing. A turkey wing. <laughs> See if I can... Hang on, I gotta use my other hand. Bear with me here. There you go. A turkey wing on the top and an angel wing on the bottom. Awesome. That is really cool. Gotta be really careful not to drop that angel wing. Good morning, Steve. One of our beach friends with his metal detector. It's looking north up the beach at Del Norwegans. Sorry about that. Get over closer to the water. Let you listen and enjoy the wave sounds. There's another sand dollar, piece of a sand dollar. corner half of a sand dollar what's left of a sand dollar 
You can find some really nice sand dollars here. You just want to make sure they're not alive when you take them home. This is just, this is probably half, this is a little less than half of a sand dollar right here. The water is pretty churned up this morning. It hasn't been too clear for the past few days. Had some pretty strong winds. If you're new to the group here, make sure you let everybody know where you're watching from. Introduce yourself. It's really fun to see the friendships that have been made here just through Facebook. What's even more interesting is I've met a lot of people out here on the beach. They've actually made it out to the beach to say hi to Roy and I. That is really neat. From all around the world. It's so cool how Facebook has brought us all together. Social media and the internet put to use for a positive reason. Osprey nest right up in the top of the tree up here. Right up there is the osprey nest. Beautiful birds, the ospreys. O S P R E Y, osprey. Google it. Check them out. Interesting birds. They kind of resemble eagles in a way. Bald eagles. Much smaller. I've actually got some really nice pictures of some of the ospreys here. You might want to search through my photos and you'll see them. Get a good look at them. As well as some of the other shorebirds, the ibises and the sandpipers. So you need to take some time to check out all of my photos. There's lots and lots of them. They'll keep you busy for a long time. They'll keep you out of trouble. Quiet out here today. Very peaceful. The tide is still on its way out here, still going out. A lot of beach here at low tide.
Okay, I want to thank everybody for watching this morning. Remember, nobody pays me to be out here. If you want to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. I like being out here, but I do got to keep the phone on and keep gas in the car. Other expenses. If you want to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. You can find my PayPal account info in the description of this post in a little while, as soon as the replay gets posted. But to those of you that have sent a little donation, thank you so much. Every little bit helps. Remember, Monday, this Monday, is the last chance you're going to get to talk to Barbara Grove about seashells. She sets up here at the, at the park at the north end of Area 4, right by our friend Roy, with her shell collection. She's here to answer any questions you might have about seashells. She doesn't know the answer. She's got some of her reference books here. She sets up right here where, where we're at, just a little bit ahead of us, right up by those trees in Area 4. The north end of Area 4, right up by the Osprey Nest. Monday is going to be her last day here. We're going to miss her. Barbara Grove. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great Friday. Have a wonderful weekend. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.